Are you like like me and think you don't really spend a lot of time on Facebook? I'm sanguine about my lack of time on space, but I really don't spend a lot of time there. Many members of my team, people that I coach with also say that they don't spend a lot of time on Facebook, but you know, if I really want to get a hold of them, get a message to them right now, and I know they'll see it, I could pretty much always do so on Facebook's messenger. It's where we are. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, lately I've noticed a number of those things on Facebook. So let's have some fun posts, questionnaires to be answered, little games to play. One caught my attention the other day because it said, let's get to know each other. I just might find something new about you. And I immediately thought of my icebreaker speech, Facebook quizzes and games. That what a great way to get to know me better. So let's just dive right in. Here's a music one to start us out with. List 10 bands that you've seen live and then you have to guess which one I haven't actually seen live. Nine I've seen live, and guess which one I haven't. So here's my list. I've seen Rush live many times. And yes, you're, if you guessed you 2 I've never seen you 2 live. I'm sure you've seen these posts. Show us some random picture from your phone. Now, I'm not a big fan of these requests. Some of my pictures really can't stand alone. They kind of need an explanation. And I have way better things to do than count back pictures on my phone. So in reply to this one, I made a graphic. Here's 324 pictures from my phone. Somebody else can count them back if they really want to. Okay, I just included this one hoping that the grammarian will give me credit for saying never have I ever, never have I ever. But for the record, I haven't broken a bone. I haven't been zip lining or skydiving. I haven't been drunk. I have no piercings and no tattoos yet. Here's a good one. Ask your child some questions and write exactly what they say. Now, I'm sure that this is intended for the younger children, and then everyone can have a laugh about the things kids say. Well, my youngest child is a 26-year-old graduate student, so this might not go exactly as intended, but I did it anyway, and she's a good sport, and she answered all the questions. I was a little bit surprised that her favorite number is 22. I don't think she's aware that that's the number that I wore while I played basketball in high school. She got our ages right. Her favorite food is whatever I fix for them on Sundays. She thinks that what I do all day is play guitar and build models. But when she grows up, she wants to be just as cool as her dad. Aww. Here's another one about picking which job that I haven't had. Okay, I'll be on. I've had all of these jobs. I found a list of possible jobs that I haven't had much more interesting. It includes truck drivers, politicians, astronauts. I've never been a stripper, never been a yoga instructor, a flight attendant. There's so many jobs I haven't ever had. Now, oh, another picture one. Somebody else can find the orange one. Let's talk about travel. Now, here's an actual post that asked me to put a heart next to the places that I've been. And yes, they spelled traveler wrong, but you know, Facebook. So here's the thing, following this query, there was a list of 262 locations. Who has time to go through a list 262 items long, take out somebody else's hearts and put my hearts in it? I don't, so here's what you need to know about me and traveling. My wife loves to travel a lot. I love to be with my wife. So I travel. Here we go. The zombie apocalypse arrives and my weapon is whatever I happen to have to my right. To my right. I've got 12 channels and up to a thousand watts to keep anything at bay that might come at me. And if that doesn't work, I rely on my trusty Excalibur letter opener. 
And finally, what celebrity are you? Now, there are a number of versions of this one out there. And of course, I have a pretty good idea of which famous person I'm most like. So I was a little bit surprised when I got Janice. Okay, I guess there is a resemblance. There is the guitar connection. But for me, what really seals the deal is that we're both wise souls. We both give good advice and even better hugs. Thanks, Facebook. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>